Hello, my name is Carlos Navarro. I'm an artist and educator in Miami, Florida. The feminist art movement is rather interesting. Let's go back to the Renaissance. Um, women, there were women artists in the Renaissance. Uh, one of them, Artemisa Gentileschi, a very famous uh, Italian artist, uh, actually one of my favorite artists, was uh, not really a feminist artist at all. The feminist art movement started in the 1920s. We had artists like Mary Cassatt and uh, other artists that decided that it was time for women to have the equal access to art that men had. If you look back in history, pretty much it's always been men. Uh, but in the 1920s, especially after women got the right to vote in 1919, uh, women realized that they could do more than just stay in the house and cook and clean and have kids. And they became uh, all sorts of artists, entrepreneurs, and so on. And today, there are many different types of women artists, not just in painting, but also in sculpture and in photography. Uh, they work just like men do. They work, uh, you know, in their own studios. Um, and I am very lucky to have been taught by two very outstanding women artists who had their own studios and who survived uh, very well, actually, in, in some cases uh, uh, with a great deal of uh, renown, uh, not only here, but also throughout the world. And they were able to do that because they were afforded the opportunity, not based on the fact that they were women, but the fact that they could actually draw, because the women artists are really, really good sometimes. Uh, they really know how to work the craft.